Okay, our first word today is from scratch. From scratch. Um, they talk about in the video the Cheesecake Factory beginning uh, from scratch. Um, from, from scratch is a really common idiom um, that means just from the beginning uh, or like from the start of something uh, without any previous uh, work happening on something. So um, just like you can picture something from the very beginning is coming from scratch. Um, it's usually used in terms of cooking, um, things like that. Uh, a recipe that comes from scratch is putting the ingredients together from the beginning, not using uh, like prepackaged things, not using frozen food. Uh, food that's made from scratch is, you know, made from the ingredients from the very beginning. So, for example, pancakes made from scratch would be like, you know, you make the actual batter yourself with eggs and flour. You don't buy the uh, instant pancake mix. So, from scratch, it's just like from the beginning, from the start. Mm -mm. Um, dot the I's and cross the T's. This means to do something very meticulously or uh, focusing on the very little details. Um, you can picture someone making a lowercase i, you put the dot over the i, and for a T, you cross the T so you don't miss anything in dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So. It has nothing to do with IT, right? IT? No, no, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, this goes back way before <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, maybe at work, uh, if, if a boss wants you to do something very thoroughly, very carefully, he says, like, okay, be sure to dot the I's and cross the T's. Don't make any mistakes or leave something, forget something, you know. Just focus on the details. Um, consistency is just like agreement, coherence, things uh, following a particular order that makes sense, um, or uh, being regular. So for example, an athlete who is consistent is one who plays well every game. Um, an inconsistent athlete is good one game, bad the next game good the next game, bad the next game, that's very inconsistent. But a consistent athlete would perform well each game. Um, same, same for a lot of things, like a, you know, consistent. A show that you watch on TV that's always good is consistently good. It's not inconsistent. Um, it can apply to a lot of things, like... Uh, Maybe police interrogating someone, uh, and if the person's story makes sense, each time they talk to the police, then it's a consistent story. But if they get caught up in their lies or uh, make some mistakes, then the story is inconsistent. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, add in just simply means to uh, include something as a part of something else. Um, kind of mm, just kind of throw it in with uh, other elements so if you add in you just put it in with other things um, yeah it's pretty straightforward um, as for go around just means to go to many different places visit different places in an area. Um, for example, if I, if I teach in many areas in one day, then I can say, I go around Seoul. I go around to different offices. I go around uh, here. Um, 
maybe if you visit a new city or town, uh, someone asks you, what did you do there? And you just say, oh, we just went around to different sites. Or we are just going to go around to different places, different sites. The last word is make sure. Um, if you make sure, you just uh, you remove all doubt and you make sure you you I use the word in the explanation. You make certain you it's one hundred percent correct and you are one hundred percent aware of it to make sure. Um, so again, with doing something carefully, like reading a contract, maybe you want to read it many times to make sure there's no um, problem with the contract. Um, before a test, you want to make sure you know the material. Um, so there's no doubt in your mind that you know it. So some of these words, they're kind of deceptively simple. They sound simple, but they're very useful uh, phrases and idioms. And they're a little difficult to explain, actually. But um, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? All of them are all use of kind of communication. Mm -hmm. That I think of the key. Mm -hmm. Very useful, yes. Conversation. Should dot if you use the bar? Right, exactly. Dot it. Making a dot on the eyes.